There's a lot of thought that goes into keeping your property secure. Every decision matters, even down to the type of lock you use to secure your doors. I'm Johanna with Butterfly MX, and today we're going over the difference between electric and magnetic locks. We'll explain why the difference matters and which locks are best for different areas of your property. The most important difference between an electric and a magnetic lock is how they act during a power outage. You might have heard the term fail safe to refer to a magnetic lock and fail secure regarding an electric lock. These terms are based on what each lock does during a power outage. In the event of a blackout, an electric lock stays locked. In contrast, a magnetic lock opens. If there's a power outage, magnetic locks keep people safe by unlocking and allowing people to safely enter and exit the building. In contrast, electric locks, also known as electric strikes, keep high priority areas secure by preventing people from entering the room or building during a blackout. Of course, people can still exit through a door with an electric lock by using an exit device like a crash bar. It's also worth noting that while many electric locks are fail secure, you can configure some electric strikes to act as either fail safe or fail secure. But how can these locks act differently in the same blackout scenario? The answer is in the ways that electric and magnetic locks work. Magnetic locks depend on a constant stream of electric current to stay locked. This current keeps the lock engaged. So, when someone unlocks a magnetic lock with a credential like a fob or an access code, that credential actually signals this current to stop, so the person can unlock and open the door. If a building loses power, those magnets don't work anymore. Without power, the default state of a magnetic lock is unlocked. On the other hand, electric locks only unlock when they are triggered by a short burst of power. So, without power, the default state of an electric lock is locked. Now that you know how electric and magnetic locks work, which kind of lock is right for you? The answer? It depends. Many building owners and operators use both types of locks on their properties, and they choose based on the needs of a specific area in the building. For example, because magnetic locks unlock in the event of a power outage, they should be used in areas people will use to exit the building in an emergency. You might use magnetic locks in stairwells, entryways, and rooftops. But other areas of your property may call for a special emphasis on security. In this case, you can use electric locks to prevent an intruder from entering sensitive areas of your building during an emergency. High security areas that you might secure with electric locks include IT server rooms, package rooms, or inventory closets. Don't forget to keep laws and regulations in mind as well. Any fire-rated doors on your property require fail-secure strikes, but you should do research into local laws and regulations to see if you need to adhere to any other requirements. We hope you'll use this guide to increase security and convenience for your own building. For more tips, head to butterflymx.com blog.